No, this isn't about sexual abuse. However, something beautiful happens when you talk with another woman and they say, me too. Let me give you an example. I'm a biological mom of two, an adoptive mom of a sibling group of three. My adopted kids had rough traumatic first years in their birth family. I was ill-equipped to know how to handle the behaviors that I could never talk about in public. Most days I felt completely alone, surrounded by children who desperately needed me to find some answers. I found by sharing my story with other adoptive and foster moms, they could come alongside me and say, me too. I actually got started blogging by writing about our adoption story, which led to sharing DIY projects and a business I never expected to have. Just knowing one other person in the entire world got it, the trauma, the attachment struggles, the behaviors, the doctors and therapy visits, it was life-changing for me and led me to where I am today. I still have relationships with many of the women who were wonderful enough and brave enough to share their stories with me. Now by sharing my HIV AIDS story, my prayer is many women will be brave enough to contact me or comment below me too or email me privately if you prefer what happened to me during 35 years of marriage was not okay but god is rewriting this chapter of my story into a beautiful opportunity for us to say me too when you find out you're not alone in whatever difficult situation you're facing there's a feeling of relief and community. Hope reappears where it previously felt hopeless. And this doesn't just have to be about the virus. Your hard thing may be betrayal, grief, divorce, chronic illness, prodigal children. I've been through it all. And above all else, my heart is to encourage yours with hope. Regardless of how you're feeling today, I hope these videos will speak truth into your heart. Today is the day to concentrate on your life, not obsess over what the next 20 years look like. I've done that too, and it's not productive. All it does is spiral into fear and further isolate you from the people who love you. I never expected to be battling AIDS, but here I am. As always, no matter your circumstances, I'm sending hope and much love to you.